All right, folks, we're back at this location today, and man, I am, I hope I'm right here, but I just think I just got Hey folks, welcome to our channel, Family Treasures Metal Detecting. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You know, I was thinking that there's a million videos out there, a million uh, metal detecting videos, that yet you chose ours. And so thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. And then also, if you like it uh, and you haven't subscribed, which you consider doing so, it helps us out. It's free. It don't cost you anything except for just a little bit of your time. And you get to see some awesome history saved up out of the earth. So please consider doing that if you would, please. All right. Uh, did I say please enough? Please. <laughs> All right. But anyway, getting into this video, uh, just a little bit about it. It's a, I, you know, is it old? Is it not? I don't know. That's still the question to be answered. Tell you how this got going. I, you know, uh, saw this property. It's been up for sale now. I, I don't want to go into the whole story, but the the um, uh, city allowed us to do curb strips. Well, that's what they said. I said that I went down to the city. They said you can do curb strips. You know that area between the sidewalk and the street. And so I said, great. You know, but I never did just show up in front of people's houses. You know, I have a lot more respect for that. So I went to old, dilapidated places, places I knew had been empty for ever and our unfortunate our town's full of places like that and so i was out there and uh and the curb strip found an any and penny and then a gentleman pulled up he was mad as could be i tried to explain to him you know what the city had told me and you know how i wouldn't just go to houses where people were living in i chose you know but anyway it, it was a it, i just you know left i just tried to be kind and leave and and so anyway that said i did find an indian hit penny out there well i got back I, you know the place went up for sale i kept watching kept watching it sold kept watching kept watching eventually i went to the courthouse to try to find the owner you know and i got from uh, i got uh the, uh, got a hold of the owner through a phone uh, conversation. Uh, she graciously gave me permission. And so I'm there and I'm detecting. And I can't find nothing old. Mercs and some modern stuff. A rosy, wheats, never nothing old. So I'm going, going, thinking, man, you know, is this old or not old, you know? And I had actually talked to a contractor who had been in the house. And he said he thought it was 40s by uh, the stuff that he saw. And so, I'm, you know, I'm going through there. And then all of a sudden, bang, I get something old, you know. And you're going to see I don't want to give it away. But, man, it was awesome. Something I've been looking for for a while. If you watch our videos, I'll give you a little hint. I've been wanting one for a while. I found one last year, if that helps you out. But anyway, uh, you know, then I find this. And then, you know, I, then I find something else. Old, you know, so is it old? Is it not old? I don't know. I was detecting last time, and a neighbor came out, neighbor lady who, uh, by the way, allowed me to detect her yard. Didn't really find a lot, but it's a really old, old, old home. And uh, she said that it was an old, old home. And the foundation looks like it. But then, you know, at first, I just didn't know. You know, is it old or is it not old? That's still the question, but... I find some old, all right? So hang tight for this video. Uh, let's get right into it. But thanks for watching again, and you hope we hope you enjoy it. All right, have a great day or night, whatever time you are watching. Bye. I don't know if you can see this big old place. I've been trying to get permission here forever, and I finally got permission today, and I haven't found squat. <laughs> some time ago, the city said, I asked them, can I detect curb strips from the sidewalk to the the road?
because the city owns the easement and they said yes I got to this place as a band I never did do places where I knew people live because I just thought that was disrespectful so I found this place it was been empty forever and I got out there and I was doing it and I had a guy pull up and he was mad 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 so anyway I found an Indian hit penny out there in that curb strip about time he pulled up uh, and so I've been doing over there I don't know if it's Phil or what but I come out here in the yard kind of the big part of the yard here and I got something here I don't know if you can see the discoloration and it goes off my pinpointer does and it's kind of deep so I thought well we would kind of do that together you can see how the soils there it is right there it's a coin and it's gonna be a weedy gonna be an older weedy though I can tell you that much it's green green look at that let me zoom in come out pretty good too didn't it let me see excuse the shaking but it's kind of hard to do one-handed and I can't see a day you folks can probably but we'll get one later just a just a weeder shouldn't say just a weeder I like buying weeds. Find so many, I guess. It's kind of, you know, gets you desensitized, I suppose, or something like that. But in any case, it's a nice green one, that's for sure. It's an old one. I can't tell what date it is, but I just thought I would reveal it together. But for now, bye. <coughs> we uh, have been all over this yard just kind of scouting it, I guess would be the right words. And... You saw me dig up that old wheat, and so right there is my first, oh, I got a serious mosquito bite getting me here. I got to get him. Hold on, folks. Oh, golly, he took a chunk out of my back, I think. All right, anyway, looking back to this, whoop, it's a mercury. I saw it already. I saw it good enough. And then I wanted to point this out when I was getting my phone out to take film it i saw that so we'll see what that is it's probably a wheat 1917 Woo, doggies that's a oh shoot doggies like it and no mint mark all right that's cool though i'll take that any day it's been a while since i found some silver I'm doing a little drought there okay i was trying to find my lid to my what a uh, bunch of mess here. All right, let's see what this is though, real quick. There's a wheat. I have to stick the pinpointer back in there too, won't I? Yup, it's a weedy. It's a weedy. I was wondering, it had kind of a strange signal, so that may be the reason why. Oh, I just dropped her. Let's see. 19 and 40 and 1 looks like. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Once you give it to me, I'll take it. Right, folks? Right. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's my cap. Good. All right. I'll stick the uh, pin. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep filming and just happen to see. Okay. Hold on with me. Let me stick my pin in the back. I can get it. I think that's it. All right. Bye. I don't know if you can see that or not. I just flipped the plug. I haven't even bit down and I can see silver. See it right there in the middle of the screen? It looks like a mercury. Yep, sure is. Looks like that baby. What do we got? 39. And it should be a no mint mark. Philadelphia. I'll take it. Sounded funny too. Well, that signal sounded funny like the last one. So I shall stick the pinpointer in there. I didn't need to this time, but I'll go ahead and do it while I got you just in case it's a spiel. Got 
something right there. So let me see. May just be a piece of iron. Hold on, let me get my shovel, my little hand shovel. Oh, don't do that to me. Right here, got it out, whatever it is. Let's see. I don't see nothing. Oh, look, it is a spill. <laughs> Can't beat that with a big stick. I can't tell what that is. Give me another mercury. But I am happy with that. Shoot. Glad I kept you on there. Yep, another merc. Or no, I think this is a rosy. Yeah, just a rosy, right? Uh, 1960. But shoot, I'll take it. Two silvers and a spiel. Can't beat that with a big old stick. Shoot, doggy, let me make sure. <laughs> Keep going, maybe I. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna see here. There is another signal, but it sounds kind of weak. Let me see. Gosh, dog. Yeah, there is something else there, but I don't know what it is. I got it right here. There's a nail, I think. Yeah. All right. Let's double check. All right. Hold on now. Don't do it. Oh. Got a signal right here. I did, I thought. What was it? Okay, I think that's it. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye. Alright folks, we are back and at this location here, this big old place, and found a pretty interesting relic. It's a soldier, lead soldier, but not all the way there. Part of the gun's missing. I'll search the hole, see if I can find the rest of it, but uh, anyway, happy with that. I wish it was, like I said, I wish it was whole, but take what I can get. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we are back, and I thought for a second I had junk, but I got a little car, a little bitty dude, looks like a, a Monopoly game piece, kind of, but you know, I do know that these things, some of these, and this looks a little bit smaller than a Monopoly piece, but um, there was a lot of toys put in the old uh, Cracker Jacks, and it goes pretty far back, and they put a lot of metal toys in their bo uh, boxes of you know cracker jacks there so that could be from that but hey i'm glad to have it i almost just tossed it in my bag because i didn't i just thought it was a crumpled up piece of trash or metal and i'm glad i did because well i always check stuff anyway i'm a big proponent of not throwing anything away and getting home and pulling it out and washing it off just in case because I have found a lot of things like that and that would have been a good, good example right there but anyway thanks for watching for now hopefully we'll get some more good stuff bye hey folks we're back and I got a buffalo a buffalo nickel and I knew I had a nickel signal or I thought I did I think that sometimes and got trunk junk junk old tab stuff like that let me see if i can get a date i doubt it but we're gonna look anyway
<laughs> it's kind of barren. A little barren. But hey, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful. That's nice. Let me go. A little bit too much. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, folks, we're back, and I just dug up this button. I, can, I think it's just a decorative coat button. Let me get my phone to focus. Focus, 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 Brian, focus. See the shank. I think it's just got some leaf design, flower design or something on it. But, hey, thankful to have it. I don't know if you can see it's about dark, so I got to go. Bye. All right, folks, we're back at this location again today, and I just pulled this up. And I think I'm going to be able to get a date. Okay, let me show you. 19, oh, man, 1919, I think that's about, a, let's see, 1919, I think. I forgot where these start, 1913 or something. But it looks like a 1919. Awesome. Cleaned up really well when I wiped it off, that's for sure. Just used the back of my glove. Good deal. I'm happy for that. I thought this place, this is a place that's kind of fooled me. If you look at, well, let me zoom out here. Make sure this is off, hold on. I get my hands free. Ooh, okay. You look at that place and you look over here and you think that you think oh man that's got to be you know early 1900s but there's a contractor went there i know that said he thought it was probably early 40s maybe late 30s but i don't know it just the foundation too i don't know it just fooled me so i'm glad to have this because i haven't found you know anything really old here uh, mercury dimes and uh, toy soldier part of a toy soldier anyway what else anyway you'll see it all <laughs> all right thanks for watching bye all right folks we're back at this location today and man i am i hope i'm right here but i just think i just got a shield nickel look at that i noticed it was a little smaller the shields are a little bit smaller in diameter and i see i think i see shield on there i've been wanting one all year i found one last year and here it is what december halfway through december of 2020 or i'm sorry <laughs> 2021 i'm living last year but i think i don't know I have, oh look i think it is look i can see the five hot diggity dog yeah, where's that? Oh, right there. Cool. I have a friend that, well, I have never really met him, but uh, he's got a good YouTube channel. Uh, his name's Matt, and uh, he has been killing the shield nickels this year. He lives about, oh, I think he's about an hour and like 35 minutes away, hour and 45 minutes away. And he has a, a, a YouTube channel entitled uh, Ski Searcher. And it's a good channel. You got to go over there and watch it. But, man, he's on a streak of them. And I just found one in a place I wouldn't think I'd find it either. This place right yonder. Cool. I'm happy. I'm happy. Shoot doggies. Makes my day right yonder. I didn't think I'd find a shield nickel right here. That's for sure. Yeah. Looking awesome. All right. Well, hey, I'm going to get off here and kind of clean this up a little bit better. I find if you clean them up a little bit better in the field, they do better. So I'm going to get off here and give it a shot. And, but, man, awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.
All right, folks, we're back, and I'm showing this only for one reason. is because I just completed the Nickel Trifecta with a Jeff, a Jeffersonian. Oh, <laughs> my, my, my <laughs> zoom got stuck. There it goes. Tell what year. Well, I just wanted to show that. Hey, I also wanted to clarify something I said. You know, I said that, you know, I wouldn't have thought I'd have found a shield nickel here. And the reason I thought that, at first I would have. I'm going to set that down and get this box out. Put my nickel in there. I, you know, as I was saying, when I found the <coughs> buffalo, I, uh, you know, I thought this was a lot older place. And then the contractor told me, you know, 40s. And so that's why I made the statement, you know, when I found the shield that I didn't think I'd find a shield in this yard. So, but, you know, that's a, as I said on a previous video, when I found the three ringer in the middle of the neighborhood, you know, it's, that's what I love about this hobby. You just never know what you're going to find, when you're going to find it, and where you're going to find it. So, anyway, well, hey, I don't have much daylight, as you can tell. It's getting dark, and so I just wanted to show that nickel, because that completes the trifecta. Now, maybe I can get the quadfecta and find a V nickel. That'd be awesome, but, or possibly, because I think it would count, folks, wouldn't it? I think it would count. I think the silver, the war nickel would count. Don't ever, I mean, would everybody else agree? If you'd agree with that or disagree, you let me know in the comments, okay? <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bye. folks. <laughs> right after the Jeff, I was just fortunate enough to get the B. Nickel Quadpetra. Yeah, baby. I think. <laughs> let me look at that again. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yeah. Pretty sure that'd be Lady Liberty. Let me see. Let's see if I can see a date. Looks kind of wiped. Took me a minute to figure it out, or even think I figured it out. But apparently, there she is right there. But I might be able to get a date on it when I get home. But I can't see nothing here. Let me go. About the four there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Looks like 19 and 07. V nickel. I love it. I love it. And I love it more. Because now that is my quad factor out of this yard. And now if I can get on a war nickel, I consider that the... What do you call that? What would that be? Uh, quintuple? Is that right? Quintuple. Quinfecta, maybe, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know. All right. But, hey, I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye. Folks, right after the V, I got another signal. I don't know what it is, but I just want to show you. Look there. See the impression? I flipped the plug back, and that was the impression. So, down in here somewhere, I don't think that's underneath that. I think it fell out wherever it is. Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. It's right in here. You see it? I don't know. I think there's the other, hat, other side of it. Where'd it go? That's right here. Right there it is. I see it. What a wizard. What is this? Hoping if it'd be a, I'm hoping it was gonna be a IHP, and it's not. It's just an, it's just a weedy. But I like it because it's an old green one. I like them old ones. Maybe it's the, maybe it is the um, 19. Oh, oh, <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> Maybe it is the 1909 BDB. Was it S? I don't know. 1919. <laughs> That's the ones I find. <laughs> That's always like 1919. Uh, oh well. They made a million of them that year.
Make sure there wasn't nothing else. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, folks, this is my last hole, but I want to say that that's a cufflink. Now, I may be wrong, but I think that's a cufflink because I can see the gold gill and stuff on that side, and I think that's an old cufflink I just dug up. I don't think that's a rivet, although them two dots got me kind of wondering. But you'll know in here in a few minutes because I'm going to get it cleaned up when I get home. And Oh yeah, it's a cufflink for sure. Look at look at swivel there. Or, see that part there just kind of goes back and forth like it's hinged on there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a cufflink. Pretty cool. Well, I'm going to end it on that and go home. So thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, hey, welcome to the wrap-up. Let's get it right into this. Again, as always, you know, some stuff in here may not be in the video. And I, as I'm looking at it, I think there's only one thing. And we'll start with that, get right into it. It's this, I do believe, suspender clip, very ornate. Uh, the reason this didn't make the video is because, you know, in the intro, you heard me saying how the neighbor lady came out and started talking to me. Well, I found this right when she came out, so I didn't get a video of it. But, pretty cool. Had an old bouton or baton, baton. It just looks like, um, you know, probably a 40s, 50s ladies coat button. Steel back. Got the shank on it. Then I found this car. Uh, if you're familiar, some of the Cracker Jack stuff, um, you know, they had stuff like this. So that could be it. Could just be a toy. Could be Monopoly. And that's probably what it is. But I can't remember. Found a lead toy soldier that's kind of busted. Uh, arms and the gun and stuff sure like to have that hole and then i uh, got a cuff link out of the yard that's where it attaches right there on the front probably had some kind of decorative thing on it fell off or something it was dark when i found this i should have checked the hole a little bit better but anyway kind of cool got on three silvers in the yard one's a let me set them down one's a 1917 I do believe and it's no mint mark and then I uh, got a rosy I think and a mer and a merc the 60 rosy and I do believe that's a 39 let's see uh, no mint mark on that I couldn't remember on the rosy here yeah it looks like what a D yep a D all right and then uh showing you my Jefferson's only for one reason is because I hit the nickel quad vectra in the yard there's a first of uh two buffaloes that i found couldn't get a date off of that one but this one i did and it's an old one it's a 1919 buffalo head nickel or buffalo indian head nickel some people call them and then i got a um uh v nickel out of the yard didn't think i was going to get a date off it but i did 1907 v pretty white can't hardly see the back and then the find of the art, in my opinion, is this shield nickel. So, I like my shield nickels. These are hard to find, folks. They just really are. And so, first one of the year, and here it is, halfway through December. And uh, But I'm thankful for it. I'm glad I got one this year. Been wanting to find one all year. And so, anyway, that's a blessing. All right, that's it for tonight, or to this wrap-up, I should say, but... Anyway, thanks for watching our videos. Again, if you haven't subscribed, would you consider doing so? It's free. don't cost you nothing and helps us out. It just takes a minute of your time. And so please consider doing that. And then, hey, listen, have a great day or night, whatever time you are watching this. Bye.
Oh, 